my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In yesterday's video, we caught up with all of our squad mates post destruction of the collector's base and we just barely began our last mission before Mass Effect 3. Our last mission being Arrival, where we need to go and rescue Dr. Amanda Kenson and find out what she knows about this imminent Reaper invasion and the proof that she has. Not that I think anyone's ever going to believe us, but hey, we can try. <laughs> so now, the at the end of our last video, they were talking, I think she's right around the corner here, so let's, let's see what's going on. Okay, I can't examine that. And I don't think I can get through that. So let me see if there's another way that I can shut this off. Hang on, what? What's over here then? That shut off this one? Definitely not the way I need to go, so let's go this way. Ooh, personal log, listen. Your humans are scurrying like vermin out in the asteroid belt. Is anywhere safe from them? We should arm a mission to flush them all out. Mm. Credits! <laughs> Super useful right now, right? This looks interesting. Oh, I think, can I, mm, how does research work, I wonder, importing it, your game into Mass Effect 3? Like, does it all come with you or is it like, meh, too late now? All right, let's turn on that one. And then we need to turn off this one. And now we can go this way. All right, maybe she's in here. Or not. We wanted to slap an asteroid into the mass relay. Can they even do that? What difference does it make? We caught them. Who wants to slam an asteroid into a mass relay? That doesn't sound very safe. Huh. Oh, I see them out there. I do appreciate how, can I, can I, can I turn around and look? How, it's not the best graphics, but I appreciate the attempt to make Shepard look like she's, she's actually standing in the rain. All right, let's save because there are guys over here. Still got her down in the prison. I just kill her. Interrogating a human's a waste of time. I don't think so. Salvage. Okay, hang on. There's other stuff out here first. Like, do I need to go here or do I need to go over here? I don't know. Am I doing the wrong order or not? But we're just going around clicking on buttons. See what happens. This is why maps would be useful. So I know if I'm going in like a dead end area or not. Uh 
a locker to open. Okay, I think I know where I'm at roughly. This is where I was going to come originally. Yes. Nothing down there. Okay. Gotta explore to the bitter end. <laughs> um, no, this way. I just jump down. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's just that easy. No way it would have worked. Relay can't be damaged, much less destroyed. Those humans will do anything to destroy, I swear. We have to make this one an example to the others. We can't respond kindly to terrorists. Why would they do that? What's, why are we so weird about shooting right now? There's a little lag, and I don't I don't appreciate it. humans being in the prison have to do with why you can't get a day off? Link. Just say it. Sounds like your bosses are crappy. There's a shuttle incoming. I got a hang of it. Who are these guys? all over. Access is restricted. Enter authorization code. Oh, it's a puzzle. I gotta pick up something to... Here maybe? That doesn't really make sense. So I just realized that I can just run down here now. I'm not sure what the whole deal was with the crane and why I needed to come down here. Oh, but there's there was just stuff to get to. That's why. It was no This should come in handy. Ooh, manage capacity, that's nice. I I should just try dumping down on things and it might make my life easier. I've been sitting here going back and forth with these controls for ages. <laughs> 
Yeah, I can just push that button and go down this way, right? Maybe we'll save and see. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yep. Oh look, more things. <laughs> nice. Um, money and 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 Menagel. Thanks. Not that I need it because I have no companions with me, but thank you anyway, game. All right, door open. Cut power. That's the security log. Our calm delay intercepts paid off. We picked up a message to the Alliance coming from somewhere in the asteroid belt. We listened to the feed until we discovered an operation run by a human named Kenson. Smuggling engine parts and guidance systems into the system from Omega. We intercepted Kenson's vessel and took her and her people into custody. Interrogation has produced nothing but frenzied rambling so far. Probably because, um, Reapers? Oh, nope, I need to click on the thing. This one's apparently the mastermind. If she doesn't talk, kill her. Ruh -ruh. You're just ray of sunshine, aren't you? There was a button back there to push, but I wanted to just. Okay, what does the button do? Ah, let's listen. I'll ask you again. Where is your base? You're wasting time. The Reapers are coming. The Reapers are coming here. To this relay. Every moment you keep me here brings them closer. So why should let you go destroy the relay then? Just destroy the system. Do what you want to me, Batarian. Torturing me won't save you. No, but it will amuse me. Hmm. Why are they in full? Are they in full? I think it looks like he's in full helmet. You know, but I'm not. She's not. You. What are you doing, Dr. Kenson? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to get you out. Commander Shepard? I'd heard you were alive. Hackett must have received my message. I'm here. No, we have to get out. I'm here to rescue you. <laughs> we're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Ready. Uh... Oh. She in my group? Where'd she go? She had like a oh she did not my squad. Alright, so what's our latest update? Escape the Batari prison! Get Dr. Kent into the shuttle bay to escape. Oh, okay, oh there she is. Hi. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Nice shot. 
I'm waiting to get my health back. I think we're good now. Keep them off me while I hack us a way out. Great. Sure. Suppress the teams to cell block now. in through keep them out they're coming through that door in the back lock it down uh oh. how's it going in there All we right. need to close the door we came in through keep them out up from below other side go ah. Ah. unlocking all doors to the hangar still need more time hey I got it Whoa. Bringing down their orbital tracking network. Watch the other side. More enemies on the elevators. There's an elevator that leads up to the hangar. I'll bring it down to us. Almost done. Ooh. Flash bang. That did it. Let's move. Yet. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. We'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Heads up! What are, what, are you... what does it mean by pushing a button or something? <clears throat>
Are we just bored and that's it? We have to break the locks on the bay doors. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Really? Now we can go, maybe? Engaging autopilot. We should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, they'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it? Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. But they're just Batarians, so it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> like, logistics? How did you plan to launch an asteroid into a mass relay? Moving an asteroid just requires thrust and guidance, which are readily available in Omega's salvage yards. Get the right amount of power and a good VI to drive it, and you can pretty much just point and shoot. That's so simple, it's horrifying. <laughs> Destroying a mass relay. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. But how do you know there's not like ramifications beyond just this mass relay? What if you take down this one and none of the others work or something like that? I, I have questions. <laughs> the project? Is the project still operational? I, I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. I, I feel like you weren't, but okay. The explosion? Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. Mm -hmm. But again, it's okay because they're just Batarians, right? I just feel like there's like no thought to any of this. Your arrest. How are you caught? We've been smuggling Starship parts from Omega. Thrusters, Guidance, an aftermarket ESO core. The Batarians thought that looked suspicious. A few days ago, I took a few of the men on a scouting trip, and the Batarians pounced on us. They never found our actual base. Yeah, what proof do you have of this Reaper invasion? It's not that I don't believe you, because I do, but like, I feel like we need some proof, though. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The artifact? What's a Reaper artifact doing in an asteroid? We don't know, or even what its purpose is. Some things are just too old or large to comprehend. Even a Reaper thousands of years dead contains power. Their artifacts are worthy of study, regardless of their purpose. Hmm. Proof of invasion? 
how exactly does a Reaper artifact give you proof of an impending invasion? It showed me visions of the Reaper's arrival. Much like your Prothean beacon, I imagine. The Reapers are coming, Commander. That much I know for certain. Indoctrination? It's possible. If you're working near a Reaper artifact, how have you avoided indoctrination? We've been very careful. We know what we're dealing with. You're not speaking to a child, Shepard. I saw what Sovereign did at the Citadel. Trust me, I know what's at stake. Lady, I'm sorry, but I don't trust you. You wanted to throw an asteroid into a Mass Effect relay, and you were like, well, it's only 300,000 Batarians. It's fine. I, I gotta see this proof. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Voice doctor. You coming home? Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Shepard? Really? Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. Right. I'll get everything set up for your arrival. Uh, Project Base out. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. I'm not gonna relax. I feel like there's something suspicious going on. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? <laughs> are you sure that's right? How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. So we're running out of time, obviously. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. Okay. The fact that I have loadouts is slightly concerning to me. All right, so Dr. Kenson claims to have proof of an imminent Reaper invasion, saying they plan to enter the galaxy through the Alpha Relay, the closest mass relay to dark space. And Kenson was working on a project to destroy the Alpha Relay before it was put on hold. Now that she is safely out of Batarian prison, Kenson needs to show Shepard evidence of the Reaper invasion. Am I like, gonna make a decision? whether or not to like destroy that Batarian system because I'm kind of not okay with that. Okay, object row. Dr. Amanda Kenson's scientific team has cataloged three major discoveries on the artifact encased in the 157 Golgotha asteroid. Why does that name sound familiar? The Golgotha part. First, the large artifact is rooted into the core of the asteroid. It has a barrier that is similar to, but much more powerful than a biotic stasis field. This gives it an unnatural resilience to alteration or damage, and even prevents state-of-the-art laser drilling from extracting the smallest piece from for analysis. Second, the object's interior is energetically active with a quantum stasis field rivaling that of Prothean technology found in mass relays. Like those creations, it activates in response to threat, at which point the artifact consumes a phenomenal amount of power. Dr. Kenson's team believes the object draws pa this power directly from dark matter, though how is still unknown. The third discovery is that the object broadcasts signals and information on many different spectra. One such pulse suspected to be similar to a quantum entanglement communicator reaches into Reaper territory. Another broadcast is infrasound, consistent with frequencies that trigger feelings of awe and fear in humans, a known factor in Reaper indoctrination. Kenson's laboratory is filled with equipment dedicated to monitoring any signal coming from the artifact in the hopes that some clue will provide the Reaper's undoing before it is too late. So 
the Alpha Relay. Discovering the age of a mass relay is not an easy task. Relays can shield themselves to preserve their integrity down to the quantum level. So taking a sample for analysis proves nigh impossible. Relays also maintain self-cleaning cycles, wiping away potential evidence. Though damage or dormancy can cause this cycle to break down, such as in the case of Charon Relay, which became covered in ice. A breakthrough was recently made by Dr. Amanda Kenson, who revisited old methods of dating the relays by testing dust trapped in their gravity wells. By comparing the relative velocity of relays to that of the stars they orbit, as well as the composition of the dust around dormant relays against the dust at known locations in the star system, Kenson created a timeline of when a relay passed through the dust. The result dates the relay back millions of years. Some say, some may even predate the Protheans. Well, the Reapers, Re Reapers, the Reapers predate the Protheans. So, Kenson concluded that the oldest known relay is in the Batarian space, dubbed Alpha. It resides near the star Bahak, and is unusual in its potential range and versatility. Alpha usually sends and receives mass at the range of normal secondary relay, but if certain controls are adjusted. It becomes powered by an unprecedented amount of dark energy that could send cargo to 16 other relays and even across a great distance to the Citadel. Hegemony authorities have kept this quiet, fearing retaliation from council species, who would assume hostile intent if they found a sudden new route into their space. It goes without saying that the Reapers have no such fear. Sends and receives mass at the range of normal secondary relay. But if certain controls are adjusted, it becomes powered by an unprecedented amount of dark energy that could send cargo to 16 other relays. And even across a great distance of the Citadel. Mm. That is bad. This is all bad. Anything else? Or step on the other side. Why do I need a weapons loadout? <laughs> I just thought, uh, why do I need this? Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. Access to this room is currently restricted. Why? So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? You know, I have this funny feeling that you could do this and all you would end up doing is killing Batarians and not actually destroying the relay. I just feel like that's what's gonna happen. Cause nothing ever works out the way it's supposed to. Palladium is where? Bothering me. Door. Ah, there it is. Okay. What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Yeah, I know, but like, can the Batarians be told so they can evacuate? Not that they'll listen to us, but we could try. Bypass. Hmm. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here? Out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I can't 
let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. So bad. Take her down! Get ready! Fight for my life? Yes, obviously. Harbinger, so bad, so bad. of man take her to the med bay and patch her up we want Shepard alive what just happened I thought I died like Shepard was waking up a moment ago but it could be a glitch in the system No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. Security! Okay. This is... I apparently just had to die? I 
can't help but think we're doing something terrible. You are doing something terrible. Oh gosh, what did they do to me? Oh gosh, what did they do to me? And I can't save. I'm I'm a mechanical now. <laughs> Unknown user detected in network. Engaging system. Requesting assistance. Uh this is weird and kind of awesome. Authorized for lethal force. Critical system damage. Hostile forces have a name. Battle systems engaged. I gotta say, I kind of like this gun. <laughs> Power junction. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Shepard's escaped. All available personnel to the medical wing. Do not let her activate the project. Uh, okay. Still going. Armor and weapons. Thank goodness. I'm like, I feel very naked right now. Uh, yes, choose. Accept. Back, back, exit. Am I, am I equipped? I'm equipped. I'm not naked anymore. How much time? <laughs> I have to get this asteroid moving and get the hell out of here. Oh, timed missions. No, no, no. Activate the project. All right, well, I am going to actually pause here for today. I unfortunately thought we were going to finish Arrival, but this mission's getting really good and awesome, and it's such a good lead up to, I'm assuming, Mass Effect 3, because like, that's what you guys have said. Anyway, so on Wednesday, I, again, I don't mean to do a dramatic cut, it's just how it works sometimes. So on Wednesday, Cross Fingers will actually finish Arrival and Mass Effect 2, and then move on to Mass Effect 3 the next day, but... I've been saying that for the last two days and it hasn't happened yet, so who knows? <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Mass Effect 2 video.